All right, everybody, um, my colonoscopy is tomorrow. So at five o'clock today, which is five right on the dot, I can tell with my sundial, I gotta start drinking this one. It's a laxative, Gavalite G. And uh, I already put the, well, the, the thing comes with the powder already in it, and it comes with a little pack of lemon flavoring. And I already put the lemon flavoring in, and let's give it a shot. I don't know what it tastes like. It tastes like stale honey with lemon, but honey doesn't go stale, so. So I gotta drink half of this thing by tonight and then half in the morning. <laughs> and I'll give you an update. All right, so let's go for my second sip. Uh, well, actually, no, it's probably my third sip. I've gone this far. I gotta get down to here by tonight. I think I'll go a little further. This looks like less than half right there, so whatever. Tastes like poo poo. Tastes salty. Oh, I'm, I got some live feed going. I got a question here from a user, Geraldine Smith. Geraldine asks, why am I doing colonoscopy? Well, that's a great question. Um, it's just, I just turned 50, so um, it's just like a standard procedure. And uh, thanks for your question, by the way, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, we'll be right back after these messages. All right, so um, it's been about an hour. I started drinking, and uh, I got about this far to go, so there we go. So I got kind of lightheaded earlier, probably from this stuff. Not too dizzy. Um, I felt like I had gas, like I had to pass gas, but I, I don't think it's a good idea for me to push right now because it may be a bad situation and my stomach is bubbling a little bit. So I might be heading to the bathroom soon. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go. Please, if you got a fart, don't don't do it. I, it would have been bad. Okay. Oh my god! Oh, it's like I just like turned on a hose. Be my about sixth time drinking. I have about an inch to go, so here we go. Tastes kind of chalky. Okay, so. So the liquid is here, the line is here. I'm gonna try to go down a little bit past the line. Okay, ready? Here we go. Alright, how's that look? 
there. I'll probably take another drink a little later. So now it's been about almost two hours and I think I'm gonna go on the toilet again for this will probably be my fourth time on the toilet so uh, let's sit down and enjoy the wonderful musical stylings of Mark Schaefer uh, oh. <laughs> my I drank the half a little more than half of the whatever that laxative water thing is and I think this is about my sixth or seventh time on the toilet so three two one and let's blast off <laughs> waterworks oh look daddy did barbecue barbecue corn everybody's getting all this great food oh my god I get Gatorade and yellow jello. It's um, 6.30 in the morning. I'm gonna leave at seven to go to the hospital. I got up at 4.45 and I only have a little bit to go here. And I've been just, you know, started drinking and then, um, Actually, last night I felt drunk off of this stuff. I really, it made me feel drunk, dizzy, and whatever. And then today, I started drinking. After about an hour, I just started going to the bathroom, just blasting. Like, every couple of minutes, I'm just like another blast of liquid. So now my liquid is kind of clear coming out. And um, I think I'm going to finish this up right here. Let me see. That's it. Talk to you later. Well, here I am at the hospital. Got to change, take off my clothes, put a gown on. A gown on. Can you hear me? Yeah. And, um, yeah. Here goes nothing. A lot of water. Yellow water. Hi everybody, I'm back. Um, so it was a pretty fun, ex excuse me, experience, but I do have hiccups. Um, so when I got there, I signed my paperwork and stuff, they gave me IV. Excuse me, I got hiccups from the food. Uh, and um, when I got into the second room where they're doing the procedure, they, uh, I saw the equipment being set up and everything, which is fine. And, um, oh, you know, I got to back up. Um, this morning when I got up at like five o'clock, I drank the rest of the stuff. It took me about an hour and a half to drink everything and poop everything out. And um, don't forget to drink your, your old bottle because you got to do that. Somewhere on the instructions it said you didn't have to drink it. But uh, yeah, make sure you drink this whole thing. And... Uh, uh, they just ask you questions like what did you eat last solid food and you know all that kind of stuff what time and stuff like that and then uh, blood pressure they take that and my, my blood pressure was good <laughs> excuse me um, so then I, when I went in to actually do the procedure um, I think it lasted about 15 to 20 minutes I'm not really sure but um, excuse me I'm so hiccup but um, yeah, they uh, they told me some of the stories about like sometimes the way people take their uh, 
what is that called? The anesthesiology or whatever, the, the medicine that knocks you out. Some, and I heard one horror story from a lady uh, that she woke up during the procedure and she, she was, she's getting her second procedure and she was like asking the nurse to make sure she doesn't wake up during her procedure. <laughs> Excuse me, gosh. Anyways, during my procedure, the lady says, okay, I'm gonna knock you out now. And then I was just looking at the, kind of looking at the clock and then kind of laying my head down and going like, this is not knocking me, knocking me out. And then I just kind of closed my eyes and then I got a tap on my shoulder. I said, yeah, and they're like, you're done. I was it, I didn't, I was out the whole time asleep and then woke up. Uh, I was fine when I woke up, just drowsy. They wheeled me back to the room. I had bad stomach, stomach pains and it was gas, so I just went to the bathroom and laid out the old gas. And I think I did that once or twice, got dressed, and that was about it. Um, I did have some hemorrhoids and uh, one polyp that was taken as a sample and pretty typical stuff. And then there was some other little thing they mentioned, but they said it's all standard, typical stuff. So I just gotta wait for the biopsy on that one little polyp. That's about it. Easy peasy.